part one of my interview with the boys from Westlife. Enjoy. Clyde 2. You and Cameron in the morning. Uh, following their sensational return to music in October 2018, Westlife released their highly anticipated new album, Spectrum Today. Yes, the new album is out today and we're delighted to have them on The Breakfast Show this morning. Good morning, Shane. <laughs> Hello, how morning, are you? Good morning, Scotland. Good morning. Morning, Kian. Good morning. Good, good morning. Morning, Nikki. Good morning, Scotland. How are we feeling today? I'm oh, feeling you. good. You boys are up bright and breezy this morning and sounding... We've had four coffees. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I just say that you boys are one of the best interviews I've ever done. I spoke to you, what, just over a year ago and I had so much fun and we got so much great reaction from it. I'm delighted you're back on the show this morning because clearly I'm one of your favourite interviewers. Oh, oh, listen, 100%. Honestly, you were. And I, I think that interview you're talking of, I think we had so much fun because I don't think Shane was there that day. I think that was in happened. Dublin in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Were. Sorry, right. Shane. You were, I wasn't there. No, was it Hello, My Love in January? Yeah. Yeah. Why wasn't I there? <laughs> I don't know. By the way, boys, you've put yourself under a wee bit of pressure because you have been quoted as saying this is the best album of our careers Spectrum the album is well, out I today know, did we say that too? we no, say that, that. I, I said that because I think it is the best album definitely I, best I, album we've done this year I, I compare it to this album I think it's as I think it's as good as our first album which I think was our best album uh -huh. uh, but I think it's got less songs it doesn't have any of the fillers that was on the first album I think there was a few fillers on the first album um, and I think this has 11 great songs on it and I think it's got great flavour and we took a year and a half to make it and yeah, I feel like it is possibly our best. If not our best, it's definitely as good as our best. Definitely in our top 15. <laughs> <laughs> How many albums have we made, Shane? 15! <laughs> so where would they rank in your 15 albums? Well, it's be, definitely one of them, anyway. It's one of the top 15 we've made. <laughs> Spectrum is the album, we're, Spectrum is the best. Let's just yeah. stick with Spectrum. Spectrum? Do you know what's really interesting about this album, which I was reading today? I mean, you've worked with some big hitters, including Ed Sheeran. He, I mean, he has his fingerprints on everything these days. Well, you know, I, I think that we feel quite lucky that um, Ed seen the Westlife reunion as sort of something that he was happy to give not only one song to, but... I think Four we're going to have to start songs. being Four We're going to have to start being honest here, Mark. No, but hang on. I want to talk about... So, Ed Sheeran is obviously unbelievable, but um, we also have uh, Ryan Tedder's song on here. He's a very, very famous... I mean, you'll know a lot of his huge hits, such as Bleeding Love for Leon, Leon Lewis. Yeah. Um, Halo. <laughs> Halo <laughs> for Leon <laughs> he, 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 he's, <laughs> um, he's, he's also in a band called One Republic. Yeah, you may have heard of them too. And also we have... Um, James Bay has written two songs on our album. So, the, you know, he's very popular and fantastic and great. So, um, we have actually quite an interest in... If you look at the credits on Wikipedia, it's quite an interesting uh, read. So um, I think we have really, we set out to have the best of the best um, in terms of a team to make this album with. And I think we achieved it. Right, I'm going to be honest here. We've never said this before. We actually broke into Ed Sheeran's house, <laughs> stole his laptop <laughs> and took six of his songs. Okay. <laughs> He didn't write them, but we robbed them. You didn't realize no. this is live. Yeah. Okay, no, that's not true. Really. <laughs> this is going yeah. out on radio today. <laughs> so that's, that's, story, that's, that's breaking news for us then. Fantastic. <laughs> Nicky, you look and like also, you're wearing a robber's outfit. The only reason that we actually split up was because Louis Watts locked us in his basement for seven years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got a question for you. When no, was it decided to. that Mark would be the spokesperson for the band today? When I had two coffees before this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll shut up now. I mean, you've had such a stunning career. Over one billion views on YouTube, 55 million album sales, 16 number one singles in the UK. I mean, the success is huge. It's massive. And I could carry on about all your successes, but I want to talk about something that I'm guessing is probably one of the lowest points in your career. I'm going to take you back to the year 2000. Are you ready for this? Go on. Right, you released this single in 2000. Beautiful song, great song. Should have been a Christmas number one. Should have been. Terrible suit. It was, it was actually our biggest selling single up until that point. And it should have been and our second number two. Christmas number one. And it would have been our eighth number one in a row. Yeah. And the reason you didn't get to number one, and I think this is probably the, the worst point and the lowest point in your career, because at number one in that year, beating what makes a man is... 
What a chill this is! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> well, you know what, though? Yes, we can! <sighs> can you believe so that? Can you believe that? Do you know what? Can My you? brother-in-law uh -huh. bought that record at the time. Because for his nephew or something, not realizing that was up against us. He was getting charts. sick of all the attention you were getting. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did know, Nicky. That's what it was. I have the biggest question for you, though. Where is Bob the Builder now? <laughs> he's, still the, he's still in the toy shops. He's quite popular still. He's, um, <laughs> isn't but, he in Line of Duty? But can, 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 can I ask? The company went down to Swan. <laughs> he's a cowboy builder, that fella. He was on Cowboy Builders quite a lot. You'd want to be getting a few more quotes. You know your man Don? Yeah. From Cowboy Builders? Yeah. yeah. He knocked on Bob the Builder's door quite a few times. <laughs> I reckon a few of the things that Bob the Builder built has pyrite. Isn't that what they say? Now you have to rebuild it then, don't you? Pyrite in the house. He, he doesn't get good, rev he doesn't get good reviews on, on uh, <laughs> trader.co.uk. <laughs> Tradesman.co.uk. You get planning permission though, that's what I wonder about. I don't know. He was in with all the county councils, you see. That's why he got the number one. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's still hurting you then? <laughs> it's, a, it's amazing what coffee does, isn't it? Can we move on from this subject, please. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it's, quite, it's quite a sore subject. <laughs> it's an emotional time for us. More to come from my interview with the boys from Westlife, who are on one, that's for sure. It's coming up. Make some man, their new album Spectrum is out today, and it's now time for part two of my interview with Westlife. Flight two. You and Cameron in the morning. Let's talk about the tour next year. 2020, Westlife are on tour and you're coming to two football stadiums in Scotland. You're going to be at the Falkirk Stadium on June the 27th and on June the 28th, you're going to be in the Caledonian Stadium in Inverness. Hopefully you have two stunning summer nights in Scotland. Do you still get a buzz from this, Shane? Do you still get a buzz performing in front of huge Only audiences? Shane. Absolutely, you know, I think uh, touring is definitely the most enjoyable part of what we do as a band um, You know, even the build up to it, you know, we're putting the show together and coming up with all the ideas uh, Next year is our first ever stadium tour, which is amazing, obviously, uh, for us um, And it's going to be a brand new show And obviously coming to Falkirk Stadium and uh, Inverness, uh, C Caledonian, is it? Yes. Inverness, Caledonian, Thistle 1 Yes so. Let's go Celtic, nil no. Do you know what, I, I, I suppose as well, coming to places as well that we've never come to You know, this is, this is the kind of, the tour we said look let's not go to Glasgow let's not go to Dublin let's try and do cities or you know places that we haven't played before um, so yeah this it's going to be amazing um, it's hopefully you know we're going to put on a spectacular show and hopefully we will get good weather and it'll be a great night do you know what I'm ex most excited about these two gigs you know the most exciting thing for me is go on Nicky I've never been to Inverness and I want to go and see Nessie I want to see the Loch Ness Monster I think he's going to come out for us when we get there <laughs> Is that near? Is that near there? How far is it from there? How it's far not that go far, actually. It's not that far. How far? How, far, how long would it take him to get there? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Loch Ness. Ten minutes. Exactly. I'm asking how far Ten it is. Minutes. Ten, Ten minutes, minutes in a car, you'll be there. I reckon. Nicky's going to spend the day there. If do you Shane have, do opens you, up with everybody, do, and then Loch Ness monster, do you Shane? What you do? Everybody's looking for. Hello. Hello. Is that There you go. That's going to be well, it. That, that's if Scooby-Doo was under the water. <laughs> that was just going for a I just popped out to see Westlife. That was terrible. Mate, that was terrible. <laughs> Can you edit that bit out? I'm going for a swim, mate! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a swim, mate! That would have fish fingers a couple years ago. <laughs> Swear! Yeah, because Scooby moved to England there. Uh, Nessie is not years. Cockney. <laughs> he also neither is he a like dog. Scooby -Doo. Scooby -Doo. <laughs> Actually, is Nessie a he or she? I don't know if ne anybody knows what Nessie sounds like. Well, we need to get him out, or her is, whatever. You need, you need day. to sing that tune. It's day. We need to yeah. find them. <laughs> there you go. The invite is out there. Nessie, come and join us. You can duet with us. <laughs> so right, good. coffee is That'll really That'll be the headline really in the Scottish song. Can I, can, can, I, can, I, with Nessie. can I ask what you're actually drinking with your coffee? Genuinely, <laughs> we actually have had two coffees each, and I think it's actually kicking into a dangerous level. And you might say something. <laughs> it is, yeah. I want to do one more thing with you. I had a bit of fun with you the last time I spoke with you. And last night, I was helping my 10 year old son with his homework, and I did struggle, and he gave me an idea. I'm now going to do a quiz with you with questions made for 10 year olds. Love it. Oh, Love it. Because you know what? I can relate to this because I have 12 and a half year old boys and I try also to help them with the homework. And it's it's not built for forty one year old. <laughs> I was I can also read this because or twelve year old homework is not built for adults. I was once yeah, ten I agree as with well. That. So I've got some <laughs> questions for you. Right, I'm going to start off with Shane. Yes. What is the name of the bear in the Jungle Book? Nobody help. 
No googling Blue. on mobile phones. Correct. Well done, Shane. Blue. Well done, Blue, Shane. the bear. Mark. That was a really good impression, Shane. Mark. Sorry, hello. Is that yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what is a baby horse called? A foal. Yes. Yes. Kian. Oh, that could be a fell. Yes. Kian, spell the word millennium. Ah, uh, you have to oh. ask me to spell in words. <laughs> And, uh, no chance there. M Next. I L L. Uh, no, M I. Oh, I did. Move on. Come on, Kia. Give it one go. All right, go on. M I L L E N I U M. Close. Double N. Double <laughs> N. Close. And that was Nikki. Nikki gave me that spelling. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for trying, Nikki. Nikki. Yes. Things fall when you drop them because of what? Gravity. Oh, come on. Why are you going to ask me that question? <laughs> Shane. 150 <laughs> divided by five. Oh, you're the mathematician? 30. <gasps> Who was that? Oh, speed. Shane that wanted was to be speed. an accountant before he got into Westlife. Yeah. Well, that wow, was that was quite tessellate. That was pretty <laughs> unbelievable. That, uh, I, I would have got that right. One thing, one thing I'm very good at. I got an A in maths. Unbelievable. We're going to do one more thing with you, right? And all of you need oh, to do it. I'm going to play a wee theme tune of a cartoon. <laughs> and Sorry, Mark, and Mark is giving I'm, out. He wants his question. I'm, Mark, do you want your question? Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you boil water, what do you get? Steam. Correct. And well, one, that's me in my last question. What's and wait, or you could say boiled water. No? <laughs> and wait, one more. Oh, yeah. Sing along to this. Inspector Gadget. Here we go, boys. Inspector Gadget. Cheerio. Here we go. It's about to kick in. Westlife doing Inspector go Gadget. Gadget. Go, Gadget, go. Gadget. Inspector Gadget. Yeah! Can we do a key change version though? Is that Westlife? Don't you have it us, Mark? Oh my! Get your fish fingers, you air! Shane, Mark, Kian, Nikki, Spectrum is a new album, it's out today, it's been a pleasure, thank you boys! Thank, thank you! Bye. 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 Bye.